welcome back to Maria's Kitchen. I am so excited to be here with you today. Guess what? I'm getting a show in right before Easter, and the star of the show is going to be Crescent Rolls. And I'm going to show you how to make a veggie delight appetizer, and I'll be right back to go over all the ingredients with you. The very first thing you're going to need, of course, the star of the show is going to be one eight roll tube of Crescent Rolls. And then you're going to need some tomatoes, you're going to need scallions, carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, red bell pepper, one eight ounce package of cream cheese, some ranch Hidden Valley dip, and then mayonnaise, and that's it. Even before you start anything, even before you bake the crescent rolls in the oven, you're going to need to chop all of your vegetables. And I chose these. You can choose others that you like, but I've got the tomatoes minced very small, the cauliflower, the scallions, and I used a grater for the carrots. I chopped the broccoli, and that is red bell pepper. The very first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your crescent roll. Here it is. I've already baked it. I had parchment paper underneath, and I put it on a cookie sheet. I cooked it for 10 minutes. I left it about 11 minutes just so it's lightly browned at 350 degrees. I poked it with the fork all over the top before I baked it so it won't puff up. And here it is. It's all cooled and ready for us to make the topping so we can put our vegetables on top. You're going to need one eight ounce package of cream cheese and I had it out for about an hour and it is softened. We're going to cream that for about 30 to 40 seconds. It's all creamed and now I'm going to add half a cup of mayonnaise. I know some people add sour cream but this recipe got almost a million views and she used mayonnaise so I'm trying this out. Next you're going to add half a package of ranch dip and that's about half a package because I'm making half of a recipe. So now we're going to cream this all together and I'll be back and show you how smooth it looks. So I just want to double check the bottom. See how sometimes maybe there's some cream cheese at the bottom and I want to make sure that it gets all combined. So I'm moving it around and I'm going to put it a little longer. This is what you want, a nice smooth consistency. Now it's time to spread. So now you're going to spread it as close to the edge as possible. But just leave a little bit. I'm going to get a smaller spatula. I'll be right back. Okay, so it's so much easier with a smaller spatula. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep spreading and spreading it. And then we'll add the vegetables. I'm going to keep adding as much as I can. It's all smoothed out. Now I saw her doing this recipe and she put the cauliflower first. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it all over. And I'll be back. Now I'm going to do some carrots. So just a little bit all over. Just try to do a thin even layer. That way when you cut it you get a little bit of everything. So it's taking very long because this is a part you want of course to make it look pretty for your appetizer for your parties I cannot wait to make this for my friends and it's going to be delicious you are going to get all these wonderful vegetables which are so healthy for you look how pretty that is the orange is so beautiful and I actually got an organic carrot from Trader Joe's, so it is very good. I've already ate some. I started with red minced bell peppers. Oh, these are my favorite. You can use green, but I don't know. I love red. Then again, do they taste the same? I don't know. I think the red are so like sweet and peppery and just wonderful. I'm going to keep doing this, then I'll be back to show you the next 
vegetable. So now I'm doing the chopped um, broccoli and my hands are a mess. If you definitely want to use kitchen gloves, do, but I didn't have any, so I'm having to use my hands and sorry, they look a huge mess, but they're washed and clean and this looks beautiful. Just look at this. I've got some minced cherry tomatoes and when you cut them, you want to make sure they're as dry as possible. Oh, look at this. I cannot wait till you try this because you're going to love it. I'm on the last edition and it is some minced scallions or green onions. I cut them as small. Now, if you don't like this, you don't have to put it, but who doesn't like this? And there it is. We're going to come back and cut it. It's all done. And now the recipe said that we need to get some parchment paper and just kind of like press it down so that it sticks to the cream cheese. And it says to put this in the refrigerator for one hour, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to eat it right now. So I'll be back to show you it cut. Okay, I pressed it all over, pressed it in lightly, not too hard. And let's see what it looks like. Okay, yes. Oh, it's just gorgeous. Now we're going to cut it. Okay, my son said to try it with the pizza cutter. Here it goes. Okay, we're trying it with that. And then, oh, I thought it was a little messy, but I like it, I think like this, because you're chopping down on the vegetables. Okay, there you go. Now, let me cut a piece. I'm gonna turn it sideways. And I'm gonna cut one here. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And I am going to eat it. Mm. It is perfect. You've got to try this. This bread down here is just perfectly, I don't know how to say it, not like a cracker, but a soft cracker. Delicious. I'll cut it up and tray it up and then show you what it looks like. So I planted this up already. I cut some squares out and look, I still have all of this that I'm going to do another plate. Then I'm going to put all of this covered in the refrigerator for tomorrow for Easter. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I had a fun time showing you this recipe, the veggie crescent roll appetizer, and I hope you try it and share it with your family and friends. And I want to leave you with this message today that John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only son tomorrow is Easter or resurrection Sunday and on the third day Jesus rose from the dead and conquered death hell and the grave so I want you to remember that and if you have not accepted Jesus Christ into your heart do so because you will have eternal life and thank you so much and come back to Maria's kitchen I got more recipes for you have a great uh, family gathering with your family. Bye.